Hey, what's living universe? It's Xander. Welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. Welcome to that Raw, and most specifically, please welcome Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold making his way to the ring. Last week, it was revealed and announced that in four weeks' time at the Royal Rumble, three weeks now at the Royal Rumble, it will be Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship. Roman Reigns is not here tonight after taking a stunner from Austin last week, but tonight Stone Cold speaks about his return, his first match in over 20 years, and his first match in the LS11 universe. So we're about to hear from Stone Cold Steve Austin. One of the greatest of all time, the biggest name in wrestling history, Stone Cold, is here. 20 years ago, 20 years ago I retired at WrestleMania 19 after The Rock hit me with a rock bottom in the middle of the ring. Rock was the better man that night and I've lived with that being my final match for 20 years. But then two weeks ago, Mick Foley calls me and he says, Steve, I got a problem. And I listen because even though I'd kicked the dumb SOP in the head so many times over the last over the last 30 years, I respect the hell out of Mick Foley. I wanted to hear his offer and Mick told me, he said, there's this guy running around Monday Night Raw like he owns the place. So what I did was I said, Mick, don't tell anyone else. But you signed me up and that dumb son of a bitch Roman Reigns is going to get his ass whooped courtesy of old Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? And now I'm here. I'm back on Monday Night Raw. I'm back in the WWE. What? And at the Royal Rumble in my home state of Texas. Roman Reigns, you stupid SOB. You're going to get your ass whooped. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold said so. Strong words from Austin. Let's continue on with Monday Night Raw. Well, now that we have heard from the man who challenges Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble, it is time for some singles action to kick us off on Monday Night Raw. Kofi Kingston on his way to the ring. He's going to be taking on the newest member of the Hurt Business. Kofi on his way to the ring tonight. All alone, Xavier Woods not out here tonight after his match with Pete Dunne last week. Xavier Woods taking the night off to recover. Kofi on his way to the ring, though. Xavier is here tonight, but Kofi said he'll go in alone tonight. He doesn't think he'll need any backup. So Kingston makes his way to the ring. Kofi is here. Man that's been here for 13 years now has been Kofi Kingston. 13 year veteran of the WWE. He's been here a long time, longer than most people at this point. Kofi is here. So Kofi Kingston has made his way to the ring. As I said, he'll be taking on the newest member of the Hurt Business. Kofi is going to take on Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander with the leader of the Hurt Business, MVP, in his corner tonight. MVP said last week that he kicked Big E out of the Hurt Business and welcomed Cedric back in because he believes Cedric is someone that knows how to take orders. Cedric Alexander making his way to the ring. Cedric Alexander is here. So Cedric Alexander and Kofi Kingston, this is going to be our first bit of action here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Let's see how it goes. You got a young up-and-comer like Cedric Alexander against a veteran like Kofi Kingston. Always makes for an interesting mix of styles. So, without any further ado, here we go. As Kofi comes for Cedric, Kofi throws a kick. Cedric punches him in the gut. And now Cedric Alexander with a chop. And again, Alexander with a right hand. 
Gets another the chop. Cedric knocking him back. Kofi comes off the ropes. Springboards into a drop kick. Kofi grabs onto Cedric and Kofi Kingston kicks him in the back. Kofi goes to the top rope and Kofi Kingston up high now. Kingston flies with a splash onto Cedric. Cedric Alexander grabbing at his ribs now. And now Kofi grabs onto him. Kofi grabs onto Cedric. Dragging him away from the ropes is Kingston. Kofi Kingston into a cover on Cedric. Cover. One kick out from Alexander. And now Cedric Alexander getting back to his feet. But Kofi grabs onto him. Forearm strike. Takes him down. Does Kofi. Kofi telling him to bring it on. The young up and comer. Cedric kicks out the knee. And now Cedric Alexander with a chop. And again, Cedric with a right hook. Spinning back fist connects. Cedric. Whoa, Kofi sends him crashing out of the ring now. Kofi follows him to the outside. Kofi grabs onto Cedric and Kofi Kingston takes him down. Goes for a kick. Cedric out of the way. Cedric went for a knee strike. Right hand connects. It's Kofi goes for another kick. Cedric kicks out the leg. And now Cedric Alexander elbow drop onto Kofi. Cedric's got him down. Now Cedric with another elbow taking him down. Cedric now getting Kofi back up to his feet. And Cedric Alexander with Kingston. Into the announce table takes him down. Getting him back up to his feet now is Kofi. Or is Cedric. He grabs Kofi. And he throws him back into the ring at the count of six. Breaking the referee's count. MVP coaching on Cedric. As Alexander now went for a clothesline. Kingston ducked it. Kingston takes up the legs. And Kofi grabs Cedric Alexander. Dragging him away from the ropes. And Kofi Kingston coming off the ropes. Four... The boom drop connects. Kofi's got him down. And now Kofi. Cover on Alexander. Kofi Kingston. One, two, kick out from Cedric. Cedric Alexander kicks out now. And Kofi standing tall over him. Kofi Kingston getting him back up to his feet. Kingston went for trouble in paradise. Cedric with a super kick connects. And now Cedric gets him back up to his feet. Alexander with a right hook. There's a punch. Cedric drop kick. Sends Kofi into the ropes. And now Cedric, knee into the back of Kofi. Cedric Alexander's got the knee into the back. Kofi goes down. Cedric kicks him in the back. Knee into the back again connects. And now Cedric gets Kofi back up to his feet. Cedric grabs onto Kingston. Cedric Alexander with Brain Buster. Cover. But a rope break is going to save Kofi on that one. And so Cedric's going to go up to the top. Cedric, Frog Splash. One, two, no! Kofi Kingston got the shoulders up. Cedric now kicks him in the back. Kofi back to his feet. Kofi with a chop takes down Cedric. And now Kofi with a kick. Kofi trying to get out some of his frustration he's had with the Hurt Business for months now. Kofi and Xavier have been after the Hurt Business, what, since, since about the night after Clash of Champions, right? So that's been a good three months now. As Kofi drags Cedric away from the ropes. Kofi Kingston into a cover now on Cedric. Kick out from Alexander, though. And now Cedric getting up to one knee. Cedric gets picked back up. Kofi with a right hook knocks him down. And now Kofi. Here we go. Off the ropes. Knee to the face. And now Kingston telling Alexander, bring it on. Cedric back to his feet. Kofi. Oh, throws a right hand to Cedric. Cedric's got him and plants him. Cedric now turns him over. Cover on Kingston. There's a rope break, though. Rope breaks at beer. We're in really ailing Cedric in this one. As Cedric Alexander turns him around with a right hook. Grabs onto him. Pops him up. Lumbar check. Got him. Cover. One. Two. Three. Cedric Alexander gets the win. Cedric knocks off Kofi tonight in our opening contest. It seems the return to the Hurt Business has been a good form for Cedric Alexander. A good way to get his career back on track after a rough couple of months. The lumbar check puts down Kingston. Oh, now Cedric looks over at MVP. And MVP just... MVP just said, do it. Cedric gets back to his feet and Cedric... Oh, come on! Hasn't he had enough? Cedric! Oh, look, Kofi! Cedric Alexander beating down Kofi on the orders of MVP. And you know this has got this has got to be a shot at the former Hurt Business member, Big E. Cedric's got a chair, and Cedric... Chair shot to Kofi! And again! 
Cedric Alexander firing away with a chair on Kingston. And now the Hurt Business is going to get out of here before Xavier Woods can make it to ringside. For a number of weeks now, many people have been wondering the same thing I am, and that is, where is Beer? Now, I haven't seen or heard from my tag team partner since our loss a few weeks ago. When, when Valter pinned me to the mat, I have not seen Veer since. I assure you, though, Veer is coming. He'll be back at some point, I'm sure. And when he comes, there will be danger for everyone involved. But tonight, I have my own problems to worry about because I am the opponent for Brock Lesnar tonight in his return match. Now, many people believe that tonight I am going to be number 17. Number 17 on Brock Lesnar's rampage towards the world championship, but no. I'm going to be number one. Because I have what it takes to be the first man to beat Brock Lesnar in over two years. Trust me. I got this. You know, I'd really like to trust Mansoor. I really would. He seems like a nice guy. I don't think he's got this later tonight. Something just tells me that he doesn't have it. But, what we do have up next is some singles action featuring the number one contender... To the Raw Women's Championship, Io Shirai. Io Shirai on her way to the ring tonight. The genius of the sky. It's been a great trade for her and for Liv Morgan. They were swapped for one another between the Raw and SmackDown rosters just last week. And hey, Io Shirai is number one contender heading into the Royal Rumble. Liv Morgan has a number one contenders match this Friday on SmackDown. So, Io Shirai making her way to the ring tonight now. At the request of many, I have finally gotten around to it. I bumped the, I bumped, I bumped the environment noise all the way up from 70 to 100. We will see if that works better now. And I turned the entrance music down just a little bit, so you guys should still be able to faintly hear it the way it used to be. But the environment should be louder now. I've been playing with the settings a little bit, so hopefully that will fix any issues. But Io Shirai makes her way to the ring. And she's gonna take on. The EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair making her way to the ring. The EST on her way to the ring. Belair has never had a shot at Rhea Ripley. You gotta think she wants to be next in line. Someone she's never had a shot on pay-per-view. She's had a couple Raw matches with the champion at different points, but she's never been able to challenge on pay-per-view. She's never had that big stage opportunity against Rhea. But Bianca Belair makes her way to the ring tonight. So it's Bianca Belair and Io Shirai one-on-one -on -one here on Raw. Any further ado, here we go. Belair with a slap. Shirai punches her in the gut. And now Shirai knocking her back. There's an uppercut. Yo, Shirai kicks her in the ribs. Another uppercut connects. Yo, spin through into a splash into the corner. And now Yo, Shirai kicks her in the ribs. And again. Shirai has got her down now. And Yo, Shirai getting her back up to her feet. Uppercut into a chunk. Kicks her in the ribs. There's another uppercut. Yo, Shirai puts her back in the corner. Handspring into a splash again. Bianca goes down. Io Shirai dominating the early moments of this matchup. She gets she gets Bianca back up to her feet now. Io Shirai with an uppercut. Bianca Belair now staggers back. And now Belair grabs onto Shirai. And Bianca Belair, oh, look at her strength here. Spins her out and slams her down. Does Bianca. There's a kick. And now Bianca Belair taunting Io Shirai. Turns her around with a right hook. And now Bianca grabs onto her. Back body drop takes her down. Bianca Belair with a stomp goes for another kick. Io Shirai back to her feet now, and Io Shirai takes her down. Shirai with a boot to the chest. Instead, double knees takes her down. Covers her. Cover. One. Two. No. Kick out from Bianca. And now Io Shirai standing on the ponytail as Bianca trying to get up. Kicks her in the ribs. There's an uppercut attempt. Close line. Into another. Io Shirai. Oh, Bianca got her with that one. And now Shirai gets caught by Belair, who hits her with a back body drop. Taking her down now. Now Bianca 
Gets her up and Bianca Belair. Running power slam. Takes her down, goes for a kick. Io back to her feet. Io Shirai sweeps the legs. And now Shirai kicking her down. Shirai with another kick. Io grabs onto Bianca, grabs her by the braid, and pulls her back up. There's a kick and a chop. Io Shirai spinning wheel kick connects. Oh, gets caught with a clothesline. Bianca Belair now into another clothesline. Got her with a third. Io Shirai into the corner. Bianca Belair. Here comes the EST. Grabs onto Shirai. Bianca into the middle rope. Belair grabs onto her. And, oh, choking her on the top rope. Lifting her off her feet is, Be is Belair. And now Bia Bianca into a cover. Kick out from Io. Io Shirai kicks out now. And Bianca Belair. Oh, went for a standing shooting star press. Io Shirai got the knees up. And now Io Shirai with a kick. Takes her down. Io Shirai knee strike to Belair. And now Io getting her back up to her feet. Io Shirai kicks her in the ribs. No, Bianca caught her. Bianca Belair with a slap. Belair gets caught with a chump. Shirai with an uppercut now. And Io Shirai kicks her in the ribs. Takes her down. Knee to the face again. And now Shirai. Goes into the corner, up to the top. Io Shirai, perched up high. Elbow drop, takes down Bianca. Grabs onto her now, does Io, and Io Shirai gets her up. Shirai with a chop, with an uppercut. Bianca with a kick to the ribs now, and Bianca Belair knocks her back. Belair with another kick. Oh, Io Shirai caught her. Shirai. German suplexes her. Goes to the outside now, does Shirai. Up to the top. Io Shirai looking to... Moonsault! No! Belair got her. Bianca Belair now gets her up. Four. KOD! KOD connects to Io Shirai. Bianca Belair could get the win over the number one contender here. She's down. Into a cover. Bianca Belair for the win. One. Two. Io Shirai kicks out. Belair's got her down now. Bianca Belair went for the standing shooting star again. Io Shirai back to her feet now. And Shirai with a kick to the knees. Goes for an uppercut. Kicks her in the ribs. Double underhook. Io Shirai pops her up. Slams her down. Shirai's got her down now. And Shirai runs up the ropes. Io Shirai looking for... Moonsaw! One, two, three. Io Shirai beat Bianca Belair. The EST gets put down tonight by Bian or by Io Shirai. A big win there for Io Shirai tonight. Continues her winning ways here on Monday night. Big win for Io Shirai. Last week was the Battle Royal. This week, she beats Bianca Belair. What's next for Io Shirai as she heads towards the Royal Rumble to face off with Rhea Ripley? Finally, a new challenger has arrived for the most unstoppable champion in the LS11 Universe history. More coming up on Raw. Go ahead and jump straight into more action as the United States title is up for grabs. We're about to find out who's accepting the open challenge that the champion Dolph Ziggler made a week ago. Oh, and it appears to be the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, making his way to the ring. He's got Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wilde in his corner. Santos Escobar looking to claim his first bit of gold in the LS11 universe tonight. Right, so Escobar, Mendoza, and Wilde making their way to the ring. If Escobar wins tonight, this will be his first championship in the LS11 universe, as mentioned earlier. 
He's fought for multiple championships over the last few years. The Cruiserweight title primarily being what he went after. The NXT North American title also being what he was after at one point. Really was just your guy to put in championship feuds, eh, Ray? Santos Escobar makes his weather ring. Who am I kidding? Ray doesn't watch Raw. But here comes the new United States champion. Dolph Ziggler is here. It's finally happened. It finally happened. Dolph Ziggler is United States champion. The show-off holds gold in the LS11 universe. He makes his way to the ring tonight for his first title defense since winning the gold. Dolph Ziggler on his way to the ring. Ziggler and Escobar are about to go one-on-one. -on -one. We have this crowd coming unglued for Ziggler tonight. The show-off has gold. It's almost surreal to see it. This is insane. Do you hear this crowd? They are thunderously chanting, Let's go, Ziggler! As the, the match hasn't even started yet. So it is Santos Escobar versus Dolph Ziggler. Without any further ado, here we go. There's an elbow strike from Dolph. Santos grabs onto him now. Santos kicks him in the ribs. Escobar pops him up and drops him on his knee, knees into the ribs. And now Escobar gets Ziggler back up to his feet. And Santos Escobar grabs Dolph Ziggler and slams him by the back of his head into the mat. Escobar now punching Ziggler in the head. Ziggler goes down. Escobar grabs onto him. Punching him in the head again now is Santos. Escobar has him down. Ziggler taken down. Covered by Santos Escobar. Ziggler kicks out before even one. And now Dolph holding his face gets back to his feet. Ziggler close line. And Ziggler with a chop block. Takes him down. Dolph Ziggler now drops the elbow. And another. And Ziggler with a third. Escobar is down. Ziggler double axe handle again takes him down. And now Ziggler grabs Santos back up to his feet. Dolph Ziggler with an elbow strike into a chop, slapping him repeatedly. Ziggler now with a right hook into another chop. Dolph gets grabbed by Escobar. Escobar throws him over the top rope. Santos Escobar goes for right hand. Ziggler counters. Dolph Ziggler now going to the top rope. Ziggler now double axe handle to Escobar. Trying to get him back up, but Escobar now into a jawbreaker. Knocks back Ziggler. Escobar kicks him in the ribs. It's Santos Escobar. Slaps him, knocking him back. There's a kick. Kicks him again. Escobar with a German suplex to Ziggler. Ziggler goes down. Escobar stomps the arm. Kicks him down again now. And Escobar throws another kick. Ziggler sweeps the leg. Dolph Ziggler's got him down. And Ziggler with a... Into an elbow. Into another. And... Into a third. Ziggler takes him down. There's another kick. Dolph Ziggler keeping him down. Kicks him in the back. Escobar back to his feet. Grabs onto him and Escobar takes down the U.S. champ. Escobar grabs onto him and stomps the arm. Santos Escobar has the U.S. champ right where he wants him. Ziggler rolls out of the way. Dolph Ziggler turns him around. Super kick! Escobar rolls back up to his feet. Though Ziggler got the knee up. Now Ziggler tuning up the band. Here we go, Ziggler gonna go for a little sweet chin music cover. One, two, Ziggler retains the U.S. title. Ziggler retains the U.S. title. Does not lose it in the first defense, which many, many people were worried was going to happen. Shows how little confidence people have in me sometimes. Your winner and still the United States champion, the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. Big win there for Ziggler. He keeps the U.S. title around his waist for yet another night. We got plenty more going on with Monday Night Raw tonight as Ziggler celebrates his title victory. 
Referee holds his arm high. Ziggler is your winner. Dolph Ziggler, still the U.S. champion. Let's move on with more of Monday Night Raw. Hey, what the heck, man? Why weren't you out there? Kobe was getting beat up. Woods. I already asked Kofi to leave me alone last week. Yeah, but, like, he was actually being ambushed this time. I'm E, and just, I couldn't get out there. I was in the trainer's room. Just come back to us, man. Xavier, look. I asked Kofi to leave me alone last week. I'm gonna ask you to do the same this week, alright? Like I said, I got some things I need to sort through. My heart breaks every week that I see those guys interact. Speaking of heartbreak, though, this matchup might break some bones. Because here comes Mansoor to the ring. Mansoor on his way to the ring tonight. I mean, he seems confident in himself, and you know what? That's the first step. That's always the first step, is self-confidence. But, um... I don't... I don't quite know what to say, because... Mansoor is the 17th opponent this season for the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar is here. So for those that are new here, because there are a lot of new people here, you might be wondering why Brock Lesnar is wrestling on Monday Night Raw. So, Brock Lesnar was gone from the WWE for about eight months. The last time we had seen him was SummerSlam Season 2. He shows up one week after WrestleMania Season 2 into Season 3, and he shows up on Raw and faces The Miz. It's been revealed that Brock Lesnar is being sponsored by the man who used to run WCW, Eric Bischoff. Eric Bischoff pays for Brock Lesnar to get matches against guys like Mansoor, Miz, Titus O'Neil, and others over the last several months because there is a clause in Lesnar's most recent contract that was put in there by the then Raw general manager William Regal in which Brock Lesnar is not allowed to challenge for a world championship until he has exceeded 20 victories in the LS11 universe from the time of his return. He is currently at 16 wins. He's had some harder opponents like Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Lance Archer, and others. But he's also had a lot of easy opponents. But last week, Eric Bischoff declared that Brock Lesnar would enter the Royal Rumble this season in an attempt to bypass the 20 wins. But tonight, Lesnar is getting a warm-up match in against Mansoor in order to make sure that he shakes off any ring rest he might have had from banishing for the last two months. We haven't seen Lesnar since Survivor Series when he battled the Murder Hawk Lance Archer. So with Mansoor and Brock Lesnar, one-on-one, -on -one, here we go. Lesnar takes him down. Former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar gets him back up to his feet. And now Lesnar with Mansoor, throws him off the ropes. Lesnar, German suplex. And now Brock Lesnar turns him around. And Lesnar punches him in the back, grabs Mansoor, throws him into the corner. Lesnar now grabs onto him again, and Lesnar. Right hand turns him around, Lesnar grabs him. Lesnar suplexes him again. Monsoor goes down. Brock, get back up to his feet now. Brock Lesnar grabs Mansoor, throwing him. Back off the ropes, into another German suplex goes Lesnar. Lesnar now getting him back up to his feet. Brock Lesnar punches him, nope. Monsoor with a punch to the gut. Now, chop from Lesnar. Lesnar answering back against Mansoor. There's a jab. Lesnar knocks him back, and Lesnar, no, Mansoor with a right hook. Mansoor, DDT to the beast. Mansoor turning him over, and Mansoor, cover on Lesnar. Mansoor, one, no, Lesnar immediately kicks out. Oh, Mansoor, I wouldn't, I wouldn't taunt him if I were you. Lesnar back into a takedown. Now, Lesnar into ground and pound. Lesnar fighting like it's UFC Undisputed 20, 2010. I, can you tell what game I just bought? Taking him down now does Lesnar. And now Lesnar getting him back up to his feet. Brock. There's a jab and again. 
Brock Lesnar. Right hand connects. Grabs onto him. Lesnar. German suplex. Gets Mansoor back up. Into another. Lesnar. With a third. And now Brock. Gets Mansoor back to his feet. And Lesnar. Scoops him up on his shoulders. Oh, Mansoor. Shot block to the beast. Takes him down. Lesnar goes down. Mansoor. Gets Lesnar back up. And Mansoor goes for a kick. Lesnar catches him. And now Lesnar scoops him up. Brock with the F5. One, two, three. That is win number 17. Brock Lesnar with the win over Mansoor. Lesnar scores the, quite honestly, pretty easy win over Mansoor. Brock Lesnar heading towards the Royal Rumble with a ton of momentum on his side. Big win for Brock Lesnar. Oh, and wait a minute. That's the machine, Brian Cage. Cage and Lesnar circling one another like wolves. It looks like Lesnar's next opponent may have been found. Main event, six-man tag match coming up next. It is time for the main event, ladies and gentlemen. We have some six-man tag team action coming up. As Ray and Dominic Mysterio, the father-son duo, making their way to the ring. Ray and Dominic are former Raw Tag Team Champions. They make their way to the ring tonight. Ray Mysterio, the most legendary luchador in WWE history. So Ray and Dominic on their way to the ring. Tonight, they're going to be teaming up. with the king of strong style. Shinsuke Nakamura making her way to the ring. Nakamura making his way to the ring. Full transparency why I accidentally said her instead of him. Uh, I was running to a text from my fiance. So her was in my mind because of her. Shinsuke Nagamura making his way to the ring. He's the misspeak there. Former two time Intercontinental Champion. Nagamura. Last year was considered a heavy favorite by many for the Royal Rumble. This year might be a dark horse sleeper pick. He has made his way to the ring. The Mysterios and Nakamura teaming up tonight. They are going to take on Imperium. You talk about heavy favorites for the Royal Rumble. You're looking at one right there with the Ring General. Walter. Former NXT champion. Accompanied by former NXT and Raw Tag Team Champions. Walter, Marcel Barthel, and Fabian Eichner making their way to the ring. Imperium, believe the mat is sacred. As I said, Walter right now considered a heavy favorite among the LS11 universe. To win the rumble it's actually kind of insane to see how far this man has come since being the nxt champion just one year ago he has been one of the most dominant forces in ls11 universe he's been pinned twice since coming to monday night raw once in the gauntlet matchup to lead to SummerSlam, and once against now wwe champion roman reigns in the opening contest of survivor series 
Other than that, Valtteri has dominated almost everyone he has stepped in the ring with and has beaten everyone he has stepped in the ring with. So Valtteri makes his way to the ring. The ring general and Imperium taking on Shinsuke Nakamura and the Mysterios. So it is Rey Mysterio and Fabian Eichner starting it off without any further ado. Here we go. Eichner knocking him back and Eichner with a jab. Grabs onto him. Fabian Eichner throws him across the ring. Into the corner. Tag made to Valter. Oh boy. The big man is in. Uppercuts him in the gut. Double axe handle to the back. Into a clothesline. And Valter immediately taking down Rey Mysterio. Oh Mysterio gets out of the way. Valter's leg caught up in the ropes as Mysterio grabs him, but Valter shoves him away. Big drop kick from Del Ring General. And now he tags Barthel. Barthel gets in the ring and Mysterio grabs onto him. Mysterio dragging him around the ring. Mysterio puts him up against the ropes and Rey Mysterio grabs onto him. Ties his arm up in the ropes, pulling his arm back. Rey Mysterio now taking him down. There's a drop kick to the knees. Mysterio's got him down and Rey tags in his son Dominic. Here comes Dominic Mysterio. Barthel tries to grab him. Uppercuts him. Barthel grabs onto Dominic into a small package. Cover. One. No. Dominic kicks out. Now Barthel into an elbow drop on Dominic. Coming off the ropes and... Big uppercut takes him down. Barthel now gets Dominic back to his feet. Shoves him back. And again. There's a right hook and a jam. Barthel. Uppercut. And again. Knocking Dominic back into the corner. Puts him in the corner. There's a chop. And went for another one. Darth Dominic Mysterio knocking him back. And then Dominic Mysterio grabs onto him. Dominic with Barthel. Over the top. Out to the floor. Dominic Mysterio taking him down. Tags in the King of Strong style. Shinsuke Nakamura is in. Marcel Barthel runs between the Mysterios. I don't think Nakamura saw it. Went for a chop block. Nakamura sidestepped. And now Shinsuke Nakamura says we're done. Nakamura. Grabs onto Barthel. Getting him back up to his feet. Shinsuke Nakamura. Grabs onto him. Throws him across the ring into the corner. Nakamura with a kick. Grabs onto him again. Shinsuke puts his boot into the face. Shinsuke Nakamura now. Takes him down. Nakamura. Kicks him in the ribs. And again. Shinsuke's got him down. Oh, Barthel kicks him though. And now Marcel Barthel shoves him away. Grabs onto him. Uppercuts him. And now Barthel scoops him up. Four. A. Crash. Takes him down. One. Two. Nagamura kicks out. And now Barthel grabs onto Shinsuke Nakamura. Throwing him across the ring into the corner. Marcel Barthel approaches the corner. Tag made to Fabian Eichner. And now they're going to look for... Here we go. Imperium Bomb. Cover. Dominic Mysterio makes the save and wipes out the ref at the same time. So now Eichner wipes out the Mysterios. Oh, this is not what you want if you're if you're Shinsuke Nakamura. The Ring General is in. And now Nakamura gets out of the way. Nakamura gets him back up to his feet. Shinsuke goes for a kick. Valter, big drop kick attempt. Nakamura countered. Now Nakamura taking out the leg. Pulls it the other way for good measure. Nakamura, no! Valter out of the way. And Valter with a chop takes down Nakamura. Back up to his feet now. Valter with a double chop. Down goes Rey Mysterio for good measure. And now he grabs Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, Nakamura kicks at the knee. Shinsuke knocking him back. And now Nakamura goes for another kick. Valter went for a chop. Nakamura grabs him, knee strike, into, kick to the back of the head. Nakamura's got him down. Now Nakamura tags in Rey Mysterio. Crawling back to his feet. Oh, went for the chop, Mysterio out of the way. For an elbow, got him there, Rey Mysterio. Oh, Valter, forearm strike, into a chop. Grabs onto Rey Mysterio, chops him. But chop the hell out of him now. 
takes out Shinsuke, takes out Dominic. Rey Mysterio puts him in the corner. Balter counters. Throws Mysterio in the corner. Punches him. Knock him down. There's a boot. Balter. Grabs Rey Mysterio back to his feet. Pulls him in. Balter with power bomb. Stacks him up. One. Two. Dominic Mysterio saving his dad. And Balter's going to look to punish him for it. Dumps him out of the ring. Gets it back to his feet now. And Balter. There's a, there's a chop. Going up to the top rope now is the ring and roll. There's the splash. One. Two. There's a breakup from Shinsuke. Oh no. Oh no. Shinsuke being taken out by Imperium. Balter taking care of poor Dominic. Rey Mysterio trying to save his boy. But Balter counters and knocks him back. Oh, Rey Mysterio. Whips the ring and around the ropes. Here we go. Coming on the ropes. Rey Mysterio. 619. Went for the splash as well. Balter got out of the way. And now Balter with Mysterio. Grabs onto him. Into the corner. Is on to him again now. And what is Valter thinking? It's Rey Mysterio on the ropes. Right hand connects. Going up. Oh, God. Valter. He's all the way at the top rope. He pulls Rey Mysterio up with him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Power bomb off the top rope. Cover. One. Two. Three. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of imagine so. Imperium. Get the win. Try to see my Rey Mysterio was not kicking out of that. And that is going to do it tonight. Imperium standing tall in the main event. Thank you all for watching tonight. We are another week closer to the Rumble. And after this episode, I'm officially back from vacation. When it comes to recording episodes, this is the last one I'm recording before vacation. Until next time, I've been Xander, and that was Universe.